Imagine if we lived in a world where mental health was something we talked about as if we talked about what we're going to have for lunch. Hi, I'm Zoe. Hi, I'm Eve. And today we're going to sit down and have a, an open conversation. Although it may be difficult, we think it's really important. Why are we, Eve, on this grass field talking about why mental health is important and why we're here? I think it's, um, it's really important for us to talk about it because mental health is something that we can't actually see. Yeah. So, like with a broken arm, you know, I could say to you, oh, how's your arm today? Or, um, you know, how's your yeah. healing recovery going? Yeah. But with mental health, it's, it's sort of invisible. Yeah. And that's when it's so important to use our voice, yeah. um, to have these conversations, to speak up, um, to open up and be vulnerable and, and yeah, put ourselves in this random paddock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I agree with that. I think it's, yeah, just because it's not physical or it's not black and white like there's so many different like levels of it and yeah to like be able to talk about it and acknowledge it and feel like you're supported through it and that you're not going through it alone is really important. It can be really scary to talk about but there's always people around there to support you and mm. it's just getting over that initial barrier of what you think of yourself and you judging yourself and like opening up to other people being able to help you. Yeah. And because if you don't tell anyone, they're not going to know. So, yeah, I guess going on from that, what pushed you to seek help? Did you look for help yourself or did you have someone come and tap you on the shoulder? And I think naturally as athletes, we, um, well, me personally anyway, I, I feel like I can, you know, we get trained that, to push through the hard times and, and you know, to, to not show any weakness as, as such. Um, and so for me, I thought that that this was a weakness and that I didn't want to show it. Um, and it was actually family that noticed first. And yeah, they sort of pushed me along and, and said, hey, maybe maybe go go check up with the doctor. And, mm. and um, yeah, so I did that thinking that I was just gonna get my iron test done. <laughs> and um, yeah, the doctor basically diagnosed me and um, yeah, I guess from then on it was just accepting it and, and understanding what it was, um, being yeah. aware of it, and then looking looking for ways or learning learning ways out, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Um, how did you seek help? Or Yeah, mine was pretty similar. Like I think because my family doesn't live in the same place as me, like it's, it can be quite easy to hide stuff. I guess mm -hmm. um, and put on just like a brave face because it's like you say like we're taught to be resilient taught not to show weakness and weakness can be seen as something that maybe someone will use against you and get your seat or something like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. and it was my family that just like noticed and like they knew I was unhappy like they knew that I wasn't myself so they told me like I've got a f yeah one of my family friends is a psychologist and they just encouraged me to have a chat with him and I was kind of against it because at the start I was like, I, I don't need to talk to someone, like I can't, I don't know. Mm. I, it was hard to like have that first conversation but I think sure. once like you do have that conversation and you realise that it's not you, like it's not you that's the problem, it's kind of like just a feeling that you're feeling and it's okay to feel like that and it's okay to, yeah like share that with someone and I think that kind of helped me.